the Electoral Commission's decision to compile a new voters register has been met with stiff opposition from some opposition political parties, including the National Democratic Congress. It's, it's, it has also led to the formation of a group known as the Interparty Resistance Against uh, Voters Register, made up of uh, the NDC, PNC and uh, APC. Uh, let's cross over to Salama Menya, who is there now with an update. Is whether Ghana needs a new voters register. We have convener of the uh, coalition of CSOs in good governance here, Mensa Thompson. He is also the executive director of uh, ISEPA, right? Uh, so we want to find out from him uh, what, what do you seek to achieve from this particular forum? Uh, yes, thank you very much, Salom, and a very good afternoon to your viewers from home. Um, we are putting this forum together, want to open up the conversation on the new voters register. Uh, I think that a few weeks ago, the Electoral Commission uh, put it to the fore that they were com going to compile a new uh, voters register for the 2020 general elections. And I think when that issue came up, it has become a bit contentious. Um, where some political parties has, have kicked against it and people have questioned the rationale behind this. And so we felt that as civil society organizations, we have to open the conversation up and help the people make an informed decision on whether indeed we need a new voter register or not. And so we have, we've just summoned experts from various sectors to come and help us understand whether indeed as a country going into 2020 elections, it is one, financially wise and two, technically feasible to compile a new voters register. Yes, but, but these elections. issues you're raising, financially and technically feasible, it tells me that you're already prejudiced to the position that there shouldn't be a new voters register. That's your position, right? Yes, of course. If you ask my personal position, I'll say no, there shouldn't, there shouldn't be because I've, I've, I've reviewed all the reasons that the electoral commission have given and I think that um, the reasons are not justified enough. Don't you think that we, we are interfering in the work of the Electoral Commission? It is mandated to ensure a credible election and it feels that with a new voters register it can conduct a credible election and you are kicking against it. Are you not interfering in the work of the Electoral Commission? Not at all, Salom. You know, the people of Ghana, all of us, we are major stakeholders in the electoral process. And so uh, we, we, are, we must be part and parcel of whatever the Electoral Commission does. And I've heard the argument about the Electoral Commission is autonomous. Yes, of course, they may have their autonomy, but they serve who? The good people of Ghana. And so the Electoral Commission must be able to carry the people of Ghana ahead every step of the way. And, and Salom, to be honest with you, we shouldn't be the one organizing this program. It should be the Electoral Commission who should be organizing a forum like this to solicit the views and the inputs of the ordinary Ghanaian and stakeholders in, in the conduct of and the management of an elections. But once there's a gap, we felt that we civil society organizations have to come in and fill that gap and ensure that we all shape the discourse of the people. I may be prejudiced, but after this forum, if all the argument points towards that we should compile a new voters register. We all come out and support it and back the EC to do it. But if the argument moves otherwise, we also go in and support. So, so, so we also go in and raise the argument and, 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 and do an advocacy against the compilation of a new register. At the end of the day, we just want to open the conversation up for the good people of Ghana to be able to participate in that conversation. All right, thank you very much. That's uh, Mensa Thompson, the convener of the coalition of CSOs in good governance. But uh, some school of thoughts have been thinking that uh, if the register that the uh, NDC says it doesn't uh, want a new one. It's the same one that guaranteed the MPP a win in the 2016 election. Why is it that the MPP does not want the uh, voters to register maintained, but the MPP wants to change? These are questions that we seek answers to in the coming days. But in the meantime, I hand over to you in the studios. Selom Aminya, uh, the Right, we cut him off before he could finish. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's move away from that. That's Salam Amenya from the NDC head office, where a coalition of political parties have expressed opposition to the uh, compilation of a new voters register. Now, the chairman of the Charismatic and Pentecostal Council, Reverend Frimpong Manso, has admonished those against the Electoral Commission's decision to compile a new voters register to allow the Electoral management body to carry out its mandate. Speaking to my colleague Goffrey Tanam, he said the Electoral Commission is abreast with the challenges with the register uh, and their position should be respected. If we allow the Electoral Commission to tow on such lines to make decisions, we will go nowhere. So what I believe is that the Electoral Commission 
they have studied the pros and cons. They have studied the materials. They have studied the register. They know the content. And they are saying it is best for us to replace it. I have no argument about that. I have no question about that. If that is what they want to do. But I must also say that they should also be listening and take a posture that will allow people also to advise because in the multitude of counsel there is safety, says the good book. That is why I think we have the IPAC. So the IPAC should do their work and quite recently Electoral Commission has even got another uh, adversary, uh, imminent adversary committee. They are here to meet but they will also have their impact or their input. And I think the media and all the people are bringing their ideas. I know our chiefs will speak and everything. But for me, the arguments that they have put forward seems logical to me in person. Because society is dynamic. Technology is changing. If they are saying that the materials we were using were obsolete and we want to replace them, no problem. Some people are saying we can migrate them. Let us look at that side. If they are saying we will get a better deal than what we have, it's another good argument. But one thing that shocked me, when you read their functions, point number G, they have to control the property of electoral commission, all the materials. Some providers, according to their submission, control everything to the extent that their members do not even have password to our own register. This is a disaster that needs to be concerned. We need to be concerned. It's a big shame for Ghana 